Hey, David Brewster here with another three for all, and this is three Warren D. Martini licks from 1987. And uh, the licks in this lesson actually come from his live solo uh, on the Dancing Undercover uh, tour that Rad did back in the 80s. And of course, you know, a lot of this uh, is because of Eddie Van Halen. You know, Eruption obviously set the world on fire as far as, you know, shred guitar and guitar, you know, heroics and tapping and sweeping and all these crazy, you know, sounds and techniques that guitarists do. And um, Eruption actually was a pretty good title uh, for Van Halen's famous solo, because after that, it seemed like everybody and their Uncle Steve uh, had some crazy, you know, guitar solo that they'd play either on an album or in concert or, you know, in a backyard barbecue or wherever they were. It was like everybody was playing, you know, guitar solos like that. So Warren D. Martini obviously is, you know, very famous for playing with the band Rat, and he's a very, still a very respected player. Um, you know, he recently announced when he was leaving the group, um, but he has documented, you know, for decades, you know, all these great, you know, licks and riffs and solos and cool ideas. And there has been a lot of uh, speculation surrounding him and George Lynch. And uh, honestly, you know, Warren D. Martini, George Lynch, and Jakey e. Lee are all three friends. So Jakey e. Lee and Warren D. Martini used to be roommates. I believe also George Lynch was also a roommate. And the three of them um, have kind of you know, traded licks and jammed and recorded together and, and been friends for a very long time. The three licks we're going to look at in this lesson come from Warren D. Martini's live solo uh, from 1987. And I found over the years, um, you know, if you can find, you know, live footage or a recording of one of these classic, you know, unaccompanied, you know, just watch what I can do, you know, guitar solos, especially back in the 80s, because everybody was doing it back then. Some of them really aren't very good. And then other ones you'll hear or you'll find and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, listen to that. You need to remember at that time, a lot of the guitarists that played in these bands, a lot of the hair metal stuff, um, they were phenomenal guitarists and a lot of them are still active and they're, they still are, you know, monster guitar players. Um, but a lot of these live solos that they whip out, you know, especially back in the day, um, you know, it would feature licks and tricks and ideas and these techniques and unusual... Uh, you know, things, and they were literally pulling out their bag of tricks, you know, look what I can do, and check this out, listen to this, you know, and all of them did it. You know, George Lynch did it, I've seen, you know, J.K. Lee, Warren D. Martini, of course, you know, Andy Van Halen, but, you know, Steve Vai, there's a whole bunch of people that have done this. Um, you know, Betancourt, and Paul Gilbert, and there's a bunch. All right, so the first lick that we're going to look at comes from his live solo, and this is loosely based around A7, and he's doing this really interesting kind of uh, slight palm muted uh, open string lick and it's very fast and uh, well I'll play the clip first so you can you can hear it So even though the video quality is kind of bad and you can't quite see what he's playing, you can hear it. And it's something like this. Uh... <laughs> And there you can see he's doing this hyperactive pull-off lick, um, you know, kind of flirting with A7. And he's doing that really cool kind of, you know, flirting with uh, the G and the uh, F sharp there on the B string. And the other thing to really notice there is the palm muting. He's very slightly palm muting, uh, you know, the D and the G just to kind of get that that kind of muffled but still, uh, you know, audible sound, which is really cool. So it's not a heavy, heavy mute, because uh, you can still kind of hear the note ring, too. And there at the end, I just kind of made my own lick to end it, because I couldn't quite make out uh, what he was doing. And he 
Ryan's obviously hitting the bar there at the end, and I don't have a bar. So um, I just kind of grabbed, you know, the bulk of the lick and then changed the ending. The next lick from this solo uh, is this wide intervallic uh, idea. It kind of reminds me of something you'd hear Joe Satriani do, even though, um, you know, technically this was played, well, I guess Surfing with the Alien was out, you know, in 87. Um, but with this lick, really, he's... Um, He's playing with unison and he's, you know, kind of flirting with your ear, you know, repeating and, and playing the same note with this wide intervallic stretch. But slowly it sounds something like this. And I really like how it plays with your ear with that little unison that happens here. And then he's also playing with it right there. So there's two of them happening um, in succession, which is really cool. So here's the clip of him playing that live. And then there at the end of the clip, you could hear he kind of made a little variation or a change to it. So he was doing something like this. It's a really challenging uh, phrase. Definitely a really good one uh, to strengthen the pinky finger too. Uh, it's just really busy and kind of uh, has this dizzy, uh, dizzy sound. Really cool. The last lick here, uh, this actually reminds me of something you might hear uh, Jakey e. Lee play. And there's actually kind of a common theme or a joke between Jakey e. Lee, George Lynch, and Warren D. Martini. And uh, here's a, actually a tweet from uh, George Lynch. And I've always found that kind of funny, uh, you know, that George just kind of posted that like, hey man, stop stealing my licks or whatever. But then when you hear this lick, it almost sounds like something you'd hear Jakey e. Lee uh, play. So uh, here's the clip. And then when you hear this lick, it almost sounds like something that Jakey e. Lee would play. It has a very wide stretch once again. So I know that was kind of a big thing at that time was like, you know, either tapping or just, you know, stretch your fingers out really far, you know, to try to impress people, you know, with how far you can stretch. And um, so the first shape, uh, it's really pretty tough. You're gonna stretch from 14 to eight on the high E string, and then you're also catching uh, that G note there on the eighth fret on the B string too. So the first stretch, uh, and he's basically grabbing that. And then he also reaches there and grabs uh, E on the 12th fret on the high E. And then he basically moves up a little higher and now he's grabbing and barring uh, the 10th fret. And he's also going to use uh, his pinky there on 15. And then you can also hear uh, 14 on the high E. And then you can also hear him stretch up and he grabs 17. It's a little hard to make it out in the video because the, you know, the crowd's cheering, the quality's not very good, and you can't really see his hand. But it does come across something like this. And then of course it, you know, it goes off after that. So that's going to wrap up this, uh, you know, kind of quick look at three licks from Warren's uh, live solo from 87. And I highly recommend, you know, now that I've kind of introduced this idea, go back, you know, go on YouTube and do searches for, you know, Van Halen and Nuno. And I mean, you can find a whole bunch of guitarists uh, that did this, you know, and you can find different tours, you know, maybe different performances, you know, obviously, you know, people like Randy Rhodes and uh, there's a lot of guitarists. Uh, you know, that have these unaccompanied, you know, guitar solos where they're just pulling out all these cool licks and tricks and, 
and really, you know, laying it on where it's like, whoa. All right, we'll leave some feedback and some comments, and please subscribe to Late Night Lessons, and I'll be back with some more episodes and lessons uh, before you know it. Thank you.